Hi everyone, today we're going to be upgrading my laptop that's side with me throughout college. It's a 13 inch Asus Zenbook laptop and it was really great to have around because it handled most of my assignments and was super lightweight to carry. It's in need of a storage upgrade since it only had 256GB in it, so yep, I had to do a lot of transferring throughout the years. So I have this 1TB M.2 SATA SSD from Western Digital, which should be plenty of space for this little guy. The complete tools I used for this video include a Torx T4 screw, two JIS screws, and some sort of prying tool. These are all included in the usual iFixit kit as shown, but a regular Phillips head screwdriver could substitute for the JIS screw. I'll start by opening up the bottom side of the laptop with the Torx screwdriver and using some kind of prying tool to pry open the bottom of the case, which I've already done that here. So right here we have the M.2 SSD which was already in the laptop and you can remove it with the smaller JIS screw on the end side and it should pop up. You can slide it out like so and notice how there's this silver sticker right here. It acts like a heat spreader for your SSD inside the laptop. So I'll just reuse this on the new SSD. Here's the new M.2 SSD, and for my laptop it only takes a SATA M.2 drive. It won't take an NVMe one because of these notches right here. SATA usually has two, while NVMe only has one. Whichever laptop you're upgrading, if it's an M.2, just double check which connection it needs. Now I'll plug the new SSD back in with the same silver sticker and use the same screw to keep it in place. And now we're done with the hardware part of switching SSDs, so I'll place the laptop cover back on and we'll move on to setting up the operating system. I will be using Windows 10 as the operating system for this laptop, so I created an installation media using Microsoft's media creation tool and put it on a USB stick to boot from. Once it boots into the USB, pretend you read through the whole agreement and then choose how you want to install it. I will be installing a fresh version of Windows 10, so I'll choose custom installation. Make sure the new drive is there, and then click on this to install Windows 10 onto. And that's all there is to it. If there are any problems with the process, there's multiple ways to troubleshoot, such as double checking the system is booting directly from the USB, or that the drive is formatted to the right boot mode, or just doing another restart of the machine. Thanks for watching.